Uh, so beautiful, and you know there were many hands that came together to make this festival happen here in Hawaii. And here now with me to share more is Senior Cultural Director of the Office of Hawaiian Affairs, Hailama Farden. Aloha nui. Aloha, Hi. Makina. How are you? I heard that Ooh. you went back in 1988. You were a part of the fifth delegation. Is that true? I, wa I How was. How did that come about, <laughs> Hailama? Well, you know, I was fortunate to be a student at Kamehameha Schools at that time. I was a junior rising to become a senior, and we had to audition for positions. And I, I decided. To try something like wood carving. So I was an apprentice to David Escran, who's my kumu. Mm. And we traveled to Townsville, Australia. And that's where the fifth festival of Pacific Arts um, yeah. was held that year. Right, and just to see it, I mean, I, I want to just mention this morning watching, like, literally yeah. just how beautiful it was to see all the va'a come in at Kula. Were you able to see just. I watched almost all of it. Yeah. And um, in between work, you know, I had to sacrifice and stay back in the office to do work for other events and other work that we're, we're contributing to. But, um, you know, you cannot feel, you cannot help but feel that emotional connection. This is your your family coming home. Mm -hmm. This is your ohana to see groups like um, even folks like Rapa Nui that we don't get to interact with much. They speak Spanish and their language, Rapa Nui, and we speak Hawaiian and English, mm -hmm. but we can communicate because Rapa Nui is close to Hawaiian. Yeah. So I've been able to communicate with them. I mean, just that makes you feel so great. Mm -hmm. And watching them come in one by one, greeted properly, welcomed, and that, that feeling of culture is alive. Culture is alive. Yeah. And um, you know. I, I love that. And yes, it was a very monoful morning where you could just yeah. feel all the energy yeah. and you can see, you feel the emotion. You know, when this was started back in the day, they wanted it because of the cultural erosion or what, what was mm -hmm. happening. Mm -hmm. So tell me, talk more about that. Yeah, and you know, to be honest with you, I remember, so Randy Fong was one of our kumu. Dr. Randy Fong was one of our kumu. And he really indoctrinated us well. Mm -hmm. Where we're going, why we're going, what we're going to do. We spent months in preparation. Mm -hmm. And I didn't forget that part of that discussion was was Hawaii was looked at in the 80s as if a place that we've given, sold out our culture, that we weren't there. And I experienced directly when we were in Townsville, you could hear the delegations applauding Hawaii to say, you're alive. You're very much alive. Your culture is alive. And even back in 88, we said, well, when are you coming to Hawaii? Mm. And here it is now over 35 years later. Yeah, and it, it's, it's so amazing to see again. And how do you see this for, for the vibrancy of the future of Oceania and, what, and all of that? Like, what, what do you see? Many folks have said this, and I'll echo this. It's not mine. Um, Westerners view the ocean that, it, that it divides us. Mm -hmm. Hawaii and the people of the Pacific know that that ocean connects us. And we cannot allow Western barriers and perspectives to deny us our cultural connection to our people, our cultural aloha. I don't care what you call it in the Pacific, we all know what aloha is. That's right, I, I believe that too. Now, are there any new events planned for the upcoming Fest Pack you wanna share or tell us about? So the Office of Hawaiian Affairs, as, as our CEO yesterday shared, we're very much engaged with uh, the Tala Noa, mm -hmm. uh, co co convening of well, traditional leaders mm -hmm. of the Pacific. What is really beautiful about this, if you look back in our history, King Kalakaua, in his vision, and other of our reigning monarchs, really saw the, uh, a favor in uniting the Pacific mm -hmm. Kingdom, creating a federation. And it was his vision. He, he sent a ship down to Samoa wow. to sign a treaty, to go over to Tonga, to go throughout the Pacific. And unfortunately, uh, Samoa went through an invasion by the Germans mm -hmm. and things changed. But imagine Klakawa's vision of over 150 years ago is realized now with the arrival of those va'a here. For the first time, as many high-ranking ali'i are going to be gathered here in Hawaii honoring that legacy of King Kalakaua. Gosh, that just makes me so, I mean, and there are so many events, everyone, that are just surrounding um, Fest Pack, as it's affectionately called. Mm -hmm. Are there any through the weekend that you want to recommend for people to go to? Well, I would There's make so sure many. you're at the, yeah, the, the <laughs> Festival Village, mm -hmm. the go there, it's going to be beautiful. Uh, I would say any event that you're able to attend and go on festpackhawaii.org, mm -hmm. please make, make some res reservations and sign up, register, and be there, be present. This is historic. As the person from, from Rapa Nui called out all the islands to come here. So if you're from, from Hawaii to Ni'ihau, if you have the ability to get on a ship, a boat, or whatever you 
you want to go on a plane and get over here, get over here and yeah. be a part of our culture. And literally get out of your head and get into the culture, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a feeling. Talk Hello. to the people. I love that yeah. so much. Hailama, always an honor to speak with you. Thank you. Thank you so Mahalo much. We have a lot more coming up on High Now Daily after this. Yeah, this morning was incredible. Oh. I like, look, even now, just like <laughs> all the cultures, all the people.